all of your power. Yeah, 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 you ain't got nothing. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up? It's your boy Blitz. And I'll be your boy Blitty Blair. Blitty Blair. Yo, welcome to a new episode of GCE News. Come on, we here. bring you guys the latest, the greatest, and the hottest in video game news and information. Yo, today, yo, we had to set a little time aside to talk about Steam Deck. So we actually titled this segment Steam Deck. What, what the, the heck? heck? That's right. Um, so for those of you who aren't aware what the Steam Deck is, uh, uh, please, please uh, send us your address, GPS, and we'll have three guys come over there and hit you in the head with a bat. You must be living under the rock, under a black hole. Why would they live under Dwayne Johnson? Why, why would they live under? He's a big dude, but you can't live under him. Anyway, oh, anyway. but look, yeah, uh, give GPS your information to us, and we'll come over there and uh, hit you in the face with a uh, turd pie from the nearest dog. Anyway, so uh, so the big thing that we had here uh, that we that we covering uh, while we bring this up because a lot, there was a lot of debate when the Steam Deck first announced its arrival, which we have in a video. Uh, we got a uh, playlist also set up so you can go back and check out Steam Deck um, uh, uh, Steam Deck video which has a lot of comments a lot of good report with you guys and we right. love we love talking with you guys and report because uh, the best information comes from the people out there because you right. guys sometimes know stuff that's not necessarily in the news feeds and things of that nature so one of the things that the big talk about was whether it's a uh, switch killer mm -hmm. right whether it was going to kill the switch and everything which has dropped on time because we got it here. We did it. Actually, our first unboxing was the Switch uh, OLED. 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 So uh, you guys jump back and check out that video also. Um, but the big thing is, uh, well, let's just read you what uh, Valve said, which is the maker of the Steam Deck. Uh, do you have anything you want to put in before we jump into the um, before kinda, we read, read I, that I, statement? I, I kind of knew that it was not going to come out on time. I, I, one of the and things we debated was you kind of called it. He, he did kind of call that. And the problem, the thing is, if it's going to be a Switch competitor, the holiday season is what you need to get your, to get that big sale because everybody yeah. is in a mad rush now. We're already in, we're already in late, no, mid-November. So, Steam Deck! What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Go ahead, bro. All right, so I'm going to read you a statement from Valve. So it says... Uh, while we did our best to account for the global supply chain issues, uh, by which we mean uh, we factor in extra time to account for these risks and worked with multiple com um, component vendors. All right, they're talking about COVID and the shutdown and things of that nature from uh, last year. The COOF. The COOF. Sorry, the COOF. The COOF, we can say COOF. Right? Yeah. The COOF. Um, our manufacturing plans were still implemented with Valve Rope. Uh, it also goes on to say um, material shortages and delays... Uh, meant that components weren't making it to our manufacturing facilities on time. Um, Valve said that said that all that's changed about the uh, pre-order process for the Steam Deck is the date. Um, it opened the pre-orders last summer on the first come first serve basis, um, and anyone who secured a place in that line should still have it despite delays. Um, it's just going to take two months longer uh, to actually get your, they say computer, because it's pretty much a handheld PC. Um, that's directly from Valve's statement. Um, you can check their site to see that or uh, look up anything Valve related and you're going to see that disclaimer pop up. So, let's go Blur. I knew it was going to happen. Um, and, and the thing is, if you got the, there was a three-tier system, the first tier, the second tier, and the third tier. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people probably got that first tier just to get one. Yeah. But all those that got the mid-tier and end up getting the high-tier um, Steam Deck, y'all going to be waiting longer than February. Y'all might not see it until the fall so of next year. And the thing is, <laughs> look... I, I like the Steam Deck. I think yeah. it's, it's a very powerful system. Yeah, we're both excited for but it. But when everybody starts saying, was it going to end up being a Steam Killer? I mean, not Steam Killer, but a Switch Killer or a Nintendo Killer. I was like, nah. I said, even though both of them are different, you just gave Nintendo plenty of time to see what you're doing, mm -hmm. pick it apart, and do something else. So thank you, Val, 
for giving 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 Nintendo. So Nintendo already had years head start on uh, niching themselves in the hand hand. We talk hand about we talk about the uh, the DS. The, uh, the original Game Boy, the original Game Boy, the Game Boy Light, yep. uh, Game Boy Plus. Uh, it wasn't like a high definition DS. With the, it, I mean, Nintendo Game the, Boy Three. I mean, DS Three D or DS Three D. Yeah, Ga- game. I mean, Nintendo has been in the handheld gaming market for years. And now you got the old, you got the Switch OLED, the OLED. You have the the regular Switch, and you have the Switch Light. Yep. yep. So you have, you know, so. And I'm only giving I'm only giving Valve a uh, hard time because everybody was like, "Oh man, this is gonna oh this is gonna devastate the Switch." I'm like, "Ah." Yeah, Switch I, even gave PlayStation a run for their money. And they killed their and they killed their uh, handheld. I love the Vita. I thought the Vita was awesome. Yeah, but it couldn't keep up. I know, I know. And don't get me wrong, I wanted it to come out, but I kind of figured that they was gonna have the. I, I'm not gonna say manufacturing chops, but. Support. <laughs> The supply lines that Nintendo have garnered over the years and everything they have, you know, compared to what Valve is trying to do. And I'm not saying Valve ain't doing nothing good. They are, but two different companies. Yeah, I hat goes off to um, Steam anyway for doing it in the first place. I mean, you're getting a handheld computer, three different models, uh, changing the size stays the same, but changing um, the process and power, the... Uh, the the, uh, uh, the RAM, the RAM on it, um, five twelve was the highest I believe. So, so with them jumping up there into that handheld market in the first place would give you access to your entire Steam account. Mobile is a genius idea. You know, I would have loved to be on the ground floor when they was taking, uh, when they was uh, opening people to invest into it. I would love to be on the ground floor of that investment. Um, but I mean, very ambitious uh, uh, system. And but it's going to do good. Hopefully, hopefully. This will give them time to tweak anything that was... I don't think they're going to have time because all the components are already set. It's yeah, set. Yeah, I guess you're I mean, it's set. I just, right. I just, Wish, wishful thinking on my part. But I think, I, think, I think it might be... I know we know that there's a component shortage. Um, there actually um, a, is an aluminum shortage as well. It is, it so is. So it's an actual aluminum So Everybody, everything is kind of short now because of the blockade. I'm not yeah. the blockade, but the, 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 the <laughs> I said blockade. Yeah, <laughs> the, uh, uh, the ports over in Cali being filled up. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's, a, it's it's affecting everybody. Yeah. I was building a homemade Iron Man suit out of um, old soda cans and um, and uh, simply orange juice jugs, and it's been taking me forever because you know waiting for all my components to come in. Not to mention my um, my eight foot lightsaber I was working on. Yeah, uh, the crystals. I mean, you know, good luck trying to get the crystals, you know, or the lithium crystals too, you know. And flux capacitors, forget about it. You know, my time machine out the window, you know, it's just messing up everything. In other words, what we're trying to say is hopefully Valve can still get it out in February. But I, I think they'll probably be able to get out the lowest tier one, the Steam Deck. Yeah. And they're not going to be able to yeah. get out the mid tier or the high tier. Yeah. I don't think the mid tier and the high tier is probably yeah. not going to come off in March, April, maybe July, August. Because, see, they know the biggest selling market is going to be that lower tier. We know that most people, because most of your 12-year-olds, 10-year-olds, not going to pop that uh, $700 um, price tag that's on the highest tier. And the issue, too, that they're facing right now is that with the um, with the economy and with the high prices of food, gas, oil, everything yeah. going up, that, that, that lower tier one is going to be a better option for a lot of people because right now with everything going on, they said that this this inf- inflation might not even go down until yeah. um, the end of next um, end of um, 20, 2022. Yeah. So my hats go off to, off to them, but yeah. this is going to set them back because now you give Nintendo another year to bring out what they're going to do, and hopefully by the end of next year or going into twenty twenty three. That N- N- Nintendo Switch Two or whatever they're gonna call it is gonna come out. That's gonna be a probably more so a, a direct competitor, right to the Steam. Yeah. So yep. now you give Nintendo another year, and you gotta realize this, everybody. Components get old. Computer components get old. What every four months, five months. Yeah. So what is cutting edge now? Yeah. Three months later, it's not cutting edge. So you yep. give Nintendo. So yep. Another year, basically. So. Nintendo!
So, I, so now, now unless you got just an ample amount of disposable income that you can just dump on the highest model and the latest bells and whistles, and uh, not to mention uh, uh, the mount stuff that's separate to attach it to your TV, to port it over to your TV and stuff like that. And that, that is, that is separate. separate. So if you want, because see, I was thinking about you know opening a business, you know this year, you know uh, it's like Uber. Except we only drive in reverse, you know. I'm gonna Shut call up. it Goober. Shut up. And we just no, we no, we ride reverse because we're say we back our prices up. You know what I'm saying? That's what we Shut gonna up. say. Shut up. And so the uh, car's only going reverse. Anyway, so that's what I was gonna do to try to get some extra money to make sure I can afford all this neat stuff. But look, Steam Deck hat goes off to you, man. Good shot, good try. But um, I agree with my boy uh, Blur here. I think the lower line is only gonna be the first one to pop, which was about the four hundred dollar price mark. Yep. So. That's probably going to be more tangible for Christmas, which it looks like it's going to be. And I'm mad about the lower tier because I think they should have doubled the um, storage space mm -hmm. so you can do more game because at the lower tier, that's going to probably be the bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, with this with this inflation right now, if if, if a mom and, mommy and daddy saw Steam Deck and saw the Nintendo OLED right now. Which is 350 yeah, about that. Mm -hmm. I think mom and pop is going to go with that because now they can get their hands on that. Yeah. And how many how many kids have a Steam Deck library? My daughter do. Yeah. Well, you're a gamer. Yeah, my and daughter do. I know there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that do. You're a tech head. So. But there's a lot of people that do because they play. Um, I think you can get Fortnite on there. Well, there's I, a lot of stuff. I got 15 kids and I don't have Steam Deck accounts, so that's why I say that. <laughs> you talk about Valve Steam. Yeah, Steam. Okay. You said Steam Deck account. There's nobody oh. got a Steam Deck account. Well, they know what I'm talking about. So, I'm, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to Steam Deck. Hopefully, we'll be able to get one in. Um, yeah, we, look way forward. Like, yeah, we was future we, forward. Yes, you know, right now the Steam Deck is, is just as rare as the Golden Unicorn PlayStation Five. So, so but but see now the OLED now the OLED didn't require a whole bunch of new components because yeah. the screen was just slightly bigger but it's the same thing in there now I personally but there's still components they still have to make all those components but see they probably have majority of that because they've been making them for years think about it all they're doing is changing the screen size yeah. and maybe some stuff with the battery so so yo hats goes off the steam uh, we hope you guys survive this um, but I tell you what when it do drop and you do get um, units available it's going to sell like hotcakes yeah it is it's going to sell like hotcakes and I'm going to get one I'm not bad mouthing it but for everybody that was saying oh man uh, it's going to destroy the switch no nah. what you did you just gave the switch another no nah. another year switch switch has a good library and if you've been watching our channel uh, look at all the games, the brand new games coming out for Switch. Yep. That's been ported over from PC or PlayStation that's coming out for Switch. And we talk about, I mean, we talk about games like KOTOR has hit the Switch uh, this month. So Now, the thing is, KOTOR, huge. now, the new KOTOR, the remake, the remaster is not going to be on there. Yeah, and this, part, this is know. just, yeah, they just ported it over. So, and but it looks not good. to mention Metroid Dread. Yeah, it looks Metroid good. Metroid Dread. And, it's and you, got, you got the old uh, Pokemon coming out. Yeah, no, um, uh, Brilliant and Design Brilliant, shiny, pearl. shiny diamonds and pearls. Uh, diamonds prints. and pearls. Oh, Would you sorry. rather have a switch or oh. a Steam Deck? I don't know. Anyway, yo, uh, Haskell's off to your Steam. Uh, we hope everything works out for you. Uh, but uh, we don't think we don't think it's a switch killer right now. No, um, I think if they would have got it out and people would have saw it in hand, I mean they're going to sell millions of them. I hope they sell millions of them because you know that, what they say the competition. A game in a hand is worth more than two on back order. <laughs> Shut up. You're stupid. That's called a blitzism. I just made that up. You can, uh, it's going to be copyrighted by time it's air. So don't you steal it, you're going to end up catching some checks. So I just think that uh, <laughs> I think Steam, I want Steam Deck to do well because that puts pressure on Nintendo to do even better. Yeah. So hopefully, um, hopefully they can keep that. That the February date, but I don't think there are. The next gen handheld Nintendo is probably going to be pretty awesome. If they, the only, the only reason why I don't, I'm not going to say it's going to be awesome as we want it because you still have the battery issue. It's handheld. You want to maximize that battery so that you can keep it from being charged for a long period of time. Yeah. That's the problem. Well, but, that's, and then and then you don't want to make it too heavy that people can't hold it 
But the, like you said, the way technology is jumping, I mean, come on, pretty soon there's like two things the size of watch batteries are being there and power that thing for for like three days straight. Dude, we're, we're, we're not, we're, uh, first of all, first of all. The lithium crystals? No, first of all. The we, lithium crystals? We are not Iron Man. We're not gonna have an arc reactor in our switches. They're gonna create. They're gonna create a brand new element in the basement of that mansion, and come up with a battery that's gonna last. Only Tony Stark can do it, and none of us are Tony Stark, so we don't have to worry about that. No, but they should do. You know what? They got watches that run off of your uh, your pulse. Runs off the uh, your pulse. You never have to charge it. They figure out how to put that in games because when you hold onto it and put that thing in there, that's it's your, actually it's not your actual pulse. heartbeat. It's not your pulse when you move. It it it. it it does that when you yeah. move. Now that technology is small enough to put into a watch. Now, mind you, a watch don't do as much as a uh, handheld computer. But come on now. <laughs> so you see a whole bunch of people like this. What you doing? Gotta charge it. Gotta charge. Got keep it going. That's what they doing anyway. They just sitting there. I mean, think about it. Now, if anyone uses that, uh, I'll copyright that too by timeless air. So, so um, we're just joking, but. Seriously, we can't wait for this to come out. I'm going to sleep. Uh, February tw 2022, hopefully they can get it. I doubt it, but hopefully they can make it happen. Yep. Fingers crossed. All right. Well, look, we want to thank our current and new subscribers for rocking with us. Thank you. Um, and do us a favor. Please, please subscribe to the channel. Help us out. Give us a thumbs up and share this content with somebody. Where else can they find us at? Matter of fact, you're doing yourself a favor if you subscribe, like, and share our content. Mm. Yo, you can also find us on TikTok at game underscore changers underscore ENT. Yo, we can find some behind the scenes shenanigans and make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, also there on TikTok to kind of get our get our feeds going up, man. We want to bring you guys much more content. And do us a favor. Get in the comments below and, and, and tell us what you think. Do you think this is going to hurt them? Because people want to see a battle. People want to yeah. see a battle between yeah. Switch. It's like Rocky and, it's a, Rocky and Drago. You're right. They want to see that battle. Yeah. So tell us how you think that battle is going to go. Will Nintendo still remain the king of the, the undefeated champion of the um, handheld? Yep. Or will it, will will Steam be um, the Gypsy King? What's his name? The one that just beat Wilder. Um, the Gypsy King? They call him the Gypsy King. Can't think his name right now. Um, will he be the Gypsy King that takes down Nintendo, the Wilder Nintendo? Will he be the one? Will Steam Deck be the one to knock him out? You put it in the comments. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, 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 my silly. Oh, okay. I didn't know if I was allowed to talk anymore. <laughs> uh, uh. Yo, thank you everybody so much for uh, showing us love and rocking out with us. And uh, make sure you guys uh, share, subscribe, and comment. Check us out on TikTok. <laughs> right, let's get out of here, man. This is your boy, Blah! This is your boy, Blitz. And we will GCEU what? Yeah! Let's get ready to run, bro! <laughs> Y'all see his cheeks? They're like two bags of Lay's potato chips. <laughs> Peace! See you, everybody.